Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of short videos about fair data and scientific research. I'm the Fair Frog, a scientist from Fair Labs. Sorry, I didn't see you there, Fair. I'm Data Gator from the Swamp Institute. Nice to meet you. I've brought you some notes to help with our research project, Gator. Want to see? I've no time, Fair. I've been trying to get organised, find things. You know how it is. Hmm. We need to escape from this swamp, Gator. Come with me to Fair Labs. You and I are very different creatures, Gator. But there's something we do have in common. Do you really think so? Yes. We both need to find, share and reuse data. But sometimes that's not as easy as it sounds. Our research could lead to new discoveries, insights and collaborations. But if we want to see the benefits, we need to make sure our data is easy to work with and fair. FAIR stands for findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. What's so great about FAIR data? FAIR data can be easily collected, connected, linked and integrated with other data sets, which is essential for research collaborations like ours, Gata. Hey, where are you taking my data management survival guide? I'm reusing it. It could come in handy, remember? Reusable? Get it? I'm off to get organised. See you back in the swamp. OK, Gator. Good luck. Let's see how FAIR data works in the real world. Exposome data is a great example. It can come from personal exposome monitors, consumer receipts, patient health records or biological samples. Thanks to computing power, researchers can combine and analyse all these different types of data to understand how the exposome affects human health. I've invited Roxana, a researcher from the Human Exposome Assessment Platform Project, to explain how her team are making FAIR data work for them. Hi Roxana, tell us more about your project. This project actually is creating a research framework that covers the whole workflow from data acquisition, data management, data analysis and knowledge discovery. And the idea is to stimulate open science, open data, open software. What sort of exposome data are you collecting? As a proof of concept, we are using several cohorts. For example, we have a consumer cohort with receipts that can be linked to uh, records, medical records, so you can extract very interesting knowledge from there. We have the wearable uh, study where it's possible to uh, create a personal exposome profiling of pregnant women. Why are FAIR data principles important for a project like this? Well, HIP makes it possible to share data and analysis tools to produce knowledge about the impact of the exposome on human health. This can only be achieved by sharing high quality data that is findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. How can researchers be sure that their data is fair? Well, we have developed a fair data self-assessment service to help researchers check if their data is fair. That sounds fantastic. Now, let's get back to the swamp and see how DataGator is getting on. I see you found your research data. Steady on though. Following the fair principles doesn't mean you have to share your data openly with everyone. Data can be private or only shared under certain restrictions and still be fair. And some open data may not be fair if it doesn't have a clear reuse license, for example. Remember, the FAIR principles help us discover, store, manage and reuse data for the benefit of everyone. To stop us feeling so... swamped. Thanks, FAIR. I think FAIR principles will help me when I crunch those numbers. See you in the next video.